It looks so cute. Abra. And I completely fell in love with them. Two espresso martinis. I'm crocheting a bacalava. Here's what happened. Oh no. It's a mix of mohair and silk. I mean, these are just insane. Oh. It looks so cute. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing good. Today is Thursday and I've never been this stressed in my life. Christmas is soon. I don't know how to handle everything. I actually wanted to vlog this weekend, but then it turned to be quite busy because Philemon and I had to work all the time, so we never left the house. Here he is. We're just in the city running a couple of errands and now we are having a quick coffee break. Thank God, because I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm always stealing Philemon's coffee as well. So here we are at Miss Non. They have it in Vienna as well, I think, and in different cities. We have cauliflower, spicy sauce, and spicy fish. Oh no, we just wanted to go to Gajin and check it out for Christmas presents, but it's closed. Merde. So sad. So Philemon, what's the plan? We don't have any Christmas presents yet, <laughs> but we still have like four days and then it's Christmas, so it's fine. It's fine. No, it's not fine. It's fine. I'm back home, as you can see, and I'm crocheting a bacalava. Here's what happened. Over the past few weeks, I was looking for a cute bacalava which was way harder than I expected it to be because I didn't find one. I really wanted a very cute one but also made out of good material of course and not insanely overpriced. So in the end I decided to make one myself. I always loved crocheting. As a kid I would do it all the time in my room listening to audiobooks. And with Philemon, I always visit very nice shops for yarns and fabrics and stuff. If you watch my videos, you might know I'm a very picky girl. So I just chose the best mohair I could find because I wanted it to be really fluffy and puffy and cozy. So I found really nice yarn and I just tried to make one myself and it turned out quite well. I was happy with it. So I posted a picture of it on my Instagram and then I was quite overwhelmed because so many people people texted me and asked me if I could do more which was so cool. I really love doing it as I said it really ca calms me down. I feel like because I spend so much time on my phone of course for work and stuff so it's really good for me also. I mean I wish I could do even more but I can't. I would actually need two more arms but I decided to sell a few of them. Just a very very small amount that I made over the past week and I'm still making. It's very exciting. It's a lot of fun for me right now but it's also one of the reasons why I'm a bit stressed because it's a bit much right now but I love doing it as I said so I already crocheted seven and I think they're going to be between 10 and 15 maximum should I show you one that is ready this one for example is one of my favorites this is probably the softest yarn I ever touched it's a mix of mohair and silk and it has this beautiful light fade this is where I keep my yarn it's in this Mio Mio box, so it's very well protected. I just love doing this, so I'm so happy some people like it. I really love this one too, and they are just so cozy and so warm. I never want to take mine off when I'm outside. It's just like living in a little cloud. It's so, so, so cozy. I love it. I have a few more, 
already prepared but I think I will leave it as a surprise so yeah now I will continue with my crocheting and make myself some green tea and put on a podcast so talk to you later Good morning. Today is Saturday. Yesterday we went out for a drink with a friend. We went to Hotel Grand Amour. It was super nice, but I had two espresso martinis. I'm not used to drinking and I felt like I really needed an espresso martini because I wanted one and also it really wakes me up and it did, but then also I slept very bad and today I'm even more tired. And it's a beautiful day today. As I said, I have to do a lot today. I have to crochet. I have to cut this vlog. I have to... I want to film another video. And I have to pack. And I have to wash and pack and all that stuff. So it's going to be a very busy Saturday. And I'm definitely not ready for it. I also have to take pictures of the... Bacalavas. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to tell you. I forgot to tell you the other day. I told you I loved crocheting also as a kid <laughs> and I used to have a crochet business when I was like I think 11 or 12. I was actually crocheting like these super colorful hats they were ridiculous and but it was like a non-profit business I was a really bad business girl but back then actually because I just handed them out for free like people wanted to have them and I would make them for them and not charge anything so oh one last thing, really exciting. I was in a Rusmin TV Ruby video, which is so cool. I love her. She's a French YouTuber and I love her videos. She's very focused on upcycling and fashion in general. She also do does vlogs and um, she asked me if we could do uh, What's New Wardrobe. If you want to check it out, you can head over to her channel. I will link it down below. So, back crocheting. I wanted to tell you something that happened that is so freaking cool. But I have to crochet while I talk because I have to get this going. A few months ago, Philemon introduced me to this brand called Abra. And I completely fell in love with them. They have the most beautiful accessories, bags and shoes. And I especially fell for their boots. They are amazing so I talked about them also on my wishlist guide on Instagram in which I love to put products I'm obsessed with products I love dreaming about or even consider buying I thought about these boots a lot and two days ago Philemon came into the room I was working in and showed me a screenshot of one of the Abra accounts who decided to start a Depop account on which they sold some samples some press samples so the prices of the boots were crazy, insanely reduced. So I was able... <laughs> Philemon just came in to put some clothes on. I'm just talking about the boots. They're so cool. They're so fucking cool. So I will show them in a second. So the price for them was 100 euros, which is insane. And I couldn't be prouder of my new boots. I'm completely obsessed. Here they are. I mean, these are just insane, right? Insanely cool. Insanely cool. Already rocked them yesterday. Yeah, I wore them yesterday, but before I wore them, they were actually not worn outside. I think I think these were just used as press samples, so just worn in the showroom maybe. They had some stains, but we were able to remove them. Philemon was able to remove them. <laughs> oh, thank you so much again. I wore them yesterday. I want to wear them all the time. I think they are just so perfect with jeans during the day and a little bit more chic during the night. I am. I can't believe I got them actually. I'm still processing it because. Like the, the fi a fifth of the original price. Yeah, that's insane. And then I posted it also on my Instagram stories because I thought maybe one of you wants 
to check out the sale too. It was just insane. I think now probably most cheaper pieces pieces are gone, but maybe it's still worth checking it out. I will put a link down below. I mean, and I am so happy that I got them before leaving for Germany because I feel like I'm going to wear them a lot during Christmas time. And I think this might be the end of my petite vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have the most chill, healthy, most loving pre-Christmas and Christmas time. I will see you soon. Please like and subscribe.